Hello, in this video, we're going to go over a problem from 2021 Putnam Math Competition. This is problem A5. Let A be the set of all integers n such that n is between 1 and 2021 20, and GCD of n and 2021 20, is 1. For every non-negative integer j, we define s of j to be the sum of n to the power of j when n is a in a. And we want to determine all values of j such that s of j is a multiple of 2021. 20, so I'm going to walk you through the process by which I obtain the solution. First of all, since we are talking about divisibility by 2021, 20, it makes sense to talk about the factorization of 2021. Uh, 20, so if we do the factorization of 2021, 20, which we usually want to remember factorization of the year uh, when we are doing a competition, we have 43 times 47. So what does it mean that S of J is divisible by this? It means 43 must divide S of J and 47 must also divide S of J. So this is what, what we need. Now, since we are doing all numbers that are relatively prime to 2021, 20, we know that the size of this is V of 2021. 20, this is the Euler's quotient function, which is V of 20. Uh, 43 times phi of 47. So there are 42 times 46 numbers in this set. Now by Chinese remainder theorem, I know that for every pair of remainders, I have one element in this set. So what does it mean? It means if I take some k between 1 and 42, and if I take some l between 1 and 46, there is a unique element a in A such that A is congruent to K mod 43 and A is congruent to L mod 47. So this is uh, this follows from the Chinese remainder theorem. Now if you fix this K here, how many of these L's do we have? We have 46 of these L's. So what does it mean? It means if I take S of J and I take this one mod 43. So if I take that mod 43, every element in here, because this is the sum of n to the power of J, every remainder appears exactly 46 times. So this would be 46 times the sum n to the power of J. n goes from 1 to 42. And similarly, S of J is going to be 42 times the sum n to the power of j, uh, n equals 1 to 46. If we take that, mod 47. So when is this s of j divisible by 43? So 43 divides s of j if and only if 43 divides the sum n to the power of j, n equals 1 to 42. And when does 47 divide s of j. This is exactly going to happen when 47 divides the sum of n to the power of j, n equals 1 to 46. So in other words, we need to answer this question. So given a prime p, when is the sum of n to the power of j, n equals 1 to p minus 1, divisible by so when is that divisible by p? So this is something I had actually seen that before this competition, so I knew really how to solve this one. Now, if you don't know how to solve this one, really what you need to do is, in order to find a sum, it would be good to turn this one into a geometric sum. Now we know that if we have a, um, if we have the numbers mod a prime, there's always a primitive root. So it means there is some g such that the set one, g, g squared, all the way to g to the power of p minus 2 is the same as the set 1, 2, all the way to p minus 1 if we take that mod p. So mod p, these two sets are actually the same thing. So in other words, if I take the sum n to the power of j, j uh, n equals 1, 2, p minus 1, um, instead of 1 through p minus 1, I can look at powers of g. So g to the power of k, uh, and then k ranges from 0 to p minus 2. 
So now this is a geometric sum. So how do we evaluate a geometric sum? Well, depends on the common ratio. In most case, in cases, it would be the first term, which is 1, minus the term after last, which is g to the power of p minus 1 times, uh, times j, divided by 1 minus common ratio. And what is the common ratio here? Common ratio is g to the power of j. But that only, hap that only is valid if t does not divide 1 minus g to the power of j. If it does divide... 1 minus g to the power of j, then that means all of the g to the power of j's are 1, and g to the power of k to the power of j is also 1. So that gives us p minus 1. Now if we look at the first one, 1 minus g to the power of p minus 1 to the power of j, if we take that mod p, we get 1 minus 1 to the power of j, which is 0, mod p. And of course, 1 minus g to the power of j isn't 0, mod p if uh, we have the first condition. So if p doesn't divide 1 minus g to the power of j. In fact, it's like basically the same thing that we have here. Now, in the second case, p doesn't divide uh, p minus 1. So we need to figure out the condition for, for j such that p doesn't divide 1 minus g to the power of j. So when does that not divide? Well, this is the same as saying g to the power of j isn't 1 mod p. And because g is the primitive root, so order of g mod p is p minus 1. That's the same as saying p minus 1 doesn't divide j. So if it doesn't divide j, then p divides s of j. So what's the answer to the question now? The answer is 42 does not divide j and 46 does not divide j. That is the condition for 2021 dividing S of J. And that brings me to the end of this video. So I will see you in the next video.